Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to um, create a listing. So it's very simple. You just go to create transaction. And then once the wizard pops up, you can name it whatever you want. And then you're going to go to a template. Uh, let's just do a residential listing template. You can see there's a couple other different listing templates. So let's do residential listing. Now I don't have the, um, I don't want to pull it up from the matrix because it will have the old information on it. So I want to pull it up from Realist. Um, this property is in Thurston County. So I'm going to go Thurston County. Click on that. Now I don't know the tax ID number, so I'm going to hit tax search. And then I'm going to put in the address. Uh, oops, I put it in the wrong place. Street number 12923, and then I'm going to do street only Hubbard. So we're going to leave off the road, southeast, all that good stuff. It's going to search for it, and then it found it. So I click the little green box, hit select, okay, and then I start to create. Now, once it creates, you're going to go through each one of these little steps. So let's say we want to list this property for, let's just say, a million, make it fun. And then the SOC is going to be the selling office commission, so whatever you're going to get the agent on the other side. Then click Next. Now the list date can be whenever, so let's say we're going to list it tomorrow. Um, and then a listing expiration for this one will just go six months out or thereabouts until I get tired of hitting buttons. Okay, now you can't fill out any of this other information because you don't have that information yet. And don't ever hit this box because if you, that pulls you out of the wizard and then you got to do it one um, section at a time, that's a little more annoying. So hit next. You'll notice that um, the company's on there, seller's name, and then my name, which is what we want, the listing agent. And then all the forms pop up. Do so you see all the forms? Okay. Um, hit next. Now you'll see the required documents by Berkshire Hathaway um, and then click done. Now what this is done, done is it's created the uh, entire transaction. So then we do go to forms and we start filling out the forms. Okay. So make sure you fill out every single box. So fill, well, fill out as many boxes as you possibly can. Now, any of the boxes that have a dot are required. So you'll just have to put that in there and whatever it is. I, I'm just guessing on that one. So just fill those out and um, just keep going all the way down and fill them out as much as you can. Okay. Now, if the list date is different than what you put on those previous forms, it should have auto-filled, then you need to change those. So... Okay, so fill out every box. Now what I typically do is I do file save and then file exit. Now the computer will should, the software should automatically save it if you hit exit, although I've noticed many times I get caught in a loop and then it just kicks me out and then I'm I gotta start all over, so I don't want to do that. Okay, then we're gonna do the listing, exclusive listing and sale. Now with this form, you can take the listing and uh, you can list it up to 30 days away from the date of them signing. It used to be that you had to do it within 24 hours. So whatever this date were, they can't be more than 30 days. So the total commission goes in here and then whatever you're going to um, do for the other side is there. And then um, now make sure that you are also a signer on here because you're going to have to sign these documents. Okay. So file save, file exit, and then I'll go to the next form, which is the 7B. Now this allows us to keep the seller's information off the MLS, which we definitely want. Um, and I don't know why it didn't fill in the address, so fill in the address, right? Okay, and then the seller's phone number, put the seller's phone number in there. Okay, now this is a form you have to upload on the MLS as a letter on file so that you can um, 
um, keep that information out there and not get in trouble with the MLS, okay? All right, and then just keep going. This form 17 you're going to fill out for your client, or you're going to just fill out the top part. Clients can fill that out. Same thing with the 22E, um, which is the FERPTA, and then the 22K. Now, once you're done with all the forms, you're going to go to Documents, and you're going to start filling these out. So now the anti-fraud is an uploaded document required for every listing, actually for every purchase and sale. And then you just go here, Document Markup Tool. Okay, and then I'll scroll down, and I will create a box down here. Oop, I got to hit text first, and then I'll create a box down here, and then just put in the address. Okay, save it, and you're good to go. Okay, save. Okay, and then close. And then I'm sure I want to close, and then just keep doing that for the rest of the forms. Now, once you're done with those forms, then you can click signing, and then add. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it test 1001 and hit save. Okay, now we're going to go through the process. Sign will sign, first come, first serve. And then participants. So now remember, you're going to have to sign these documents too. So make sure you click you as a remote signer and then the client as a remote signer. Now when I do this, her name's gonna pop up with a little hand on it. That means she's missing information and it's her email address. So I'm just gonna put in Janet uh, at uh, Clark, it doesn't matter, Clark.com and hit save. And now you'll notice that the little hand is going. Then we're gonna go to the documents and we are gonna upload, we're gonna do all the documents. So we'll click that. Okay, and then click Add. Now, any documents that are MLS documents will automatically put the signatures where they need to go. If they are not MLS forms, then they will not have that little box there. See how this one has the little boxes and this one does. So you're going to have to add the signatures where they go. Okay, you do that by clicking Design. Okay, and then here's all the forms. Now this is your last chance to fix these before something goes on, before you send it to your client for signatures. So just make sure that everything's good, everything's filled out, and it all looks good. Okay, and you can see the MLS forms that have the signatures everywhere that they need to be. Okay, including your signatures. Okay and then the form seven, and then um, you'll have to print this out for them to sign that, the form 17. You might wanna leave that off, um, right? Same thing with the 22K, or 22E and K. And then here's the anti-fraud form, so you're gonna have to add the, add the signature, so hit drag and drop, and then just drag the signature over. I went a little too far, so drag that up, move that into place, and drag the date over. Okay, same thing for the next one. And what's nice about doing this in Transaction Desk is if I just need the signer's name in there, I can do that. Okay, and then I also want to add her signature. Okay, and add her date, right. and then just keep scrolling down and fill everything else out. Now, if we forgot something, if we forgot a date on something, you can also add that here. Um, it's just a little easier to do it in the other spot. So, okay, add that, add that. So, for example, um, I give my permission so I can click markup, text, add the text box, and put, double click, and put my name in there, right? Okay, same thing for the address, text, text box, 
one two nine two three. Oops, I got double click in there. One two nine two three Hubbard. Okay. And just keep going. Sellers go back to drag and drop. Pull that over. Um, stuck on me. And then the date. And then um, and then you can click the boxes here. Okay. And if they don't want to sign it, they don't have to sign it. So. All right, it just says they're going to do a horn warranty and all that good stuff. Now, when you're done with all the documents, you click Next, and then the Next will um, bring this up. Now, I typically just send the invitations, and the invitation goes out. Now, uh, then I will send them a text or an email from a separate system that says, hey, I sent you an email for signatures on these documents. Um, if you don't get them in five minutes, let me know. Please check your junk also. So then you can go from there. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty easy, only took 11 minutes, and there you go. Thanks.